What's good YouTube, Garfai King here, Aqua Life Baby, I already know how it is. So today guys, I wanted to bring you my Imperial Jermon deck list for the set 5 format. Honestly, it, it, this deck list kind of looks like, pretty much looks like Dan Vang's in a way, you'll see. Um, you know, big shout out to him, you know, for winning the uh, t uh, Top Cut Regionals uh, with it. But um, if anything, and I, and I said this before in, the, in my last Imperial Jermon update video, the deck doesn't change. Honestly, the deck really, the deck really doesn't change too much. Um, it's still, it, it, it's 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 a lot of a lot of it is just it's the same cards. Just you know, you add in a few pieces here and there, maybe a tech here and there, and then bada bing, bada boom, you're good to go. Um, so it, it, there's not too much that changes with Imperial, and the lists all look the same. Um, I'm doing this on 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 uh, DigimonCard.dev because uh, I, you know I just figured that this would be just a faster f form format for me to get out this uh, video for to you guys. Um, but starting off, um, Demi Vimon Egg, and then the jamming jamming Demi Vimon Egg. Uh, these uh, you know just the best combination of eggs. I know some people um, you know take out this Demi Vimon and run just four of the jamming D Demi Vimon Eggs, but I do like that fifth egg in here just for some late game purposes in here and then you know and sometimes you may end up going into a, gr a grindy game a little bit and just having extra eggs available I think is always you know just, just generally a good thing so you know that's just my personal preference why I like the the extra egg but you can you don't have to have the extra egg you know if you want the consistency of getting this off here um four Lekmon three Gobblemon uh the four Lekmon are just our vanillas that we're going to be playing uh three Gobblemon for the draw you know just for the draw um, you know, on play the on play is draw. It's just just a solid card. It does get wiped out by Pikmon, so it's not a card you want to leave in the board. A lot of times when you play this card, you want to kind of use this as a Digivolve target for X V Mon, Gorilla Mon, uh, Cola Mon, or something like that. But other than that, yeah, he's just there to draw, just to get through your deck. Because the point of this deck is we need to see our we need to get to Imperial. The point is to get to Imperial and swing as much as possible. So uh, I want to get there. Um, the jamming Vmon because jamming Vmon is just the best blue rookie in the game. Uh, and then I play two Siakumon. I like Siakumon because Siakumon is a card that redu can't reduce the Digivolution cost. So this card really just you know you stick this to the board. Um, if they they can't if, if they can't get rid of it in Lilith Loop, then you shut down Mega Digimon Fusion plays. Um, you shut down the the download mechanic, the, the download the Blossomon and things like that. So uh, this card is a really good card just to leave on board, sit there, and kind of like you treat it like it's a Gazimon. You you sit it there till the end of the game when you're when you're trying to swing out and then you'll use this as like your last swing basically um but it's really just there as some counterplay to a lot of the other top decks in the game uh four copies of gorilla mon because the one cost evo gorilla mon is just good uh two x v mon uh I, I was playing around with this lineup between x v mon and little mon uh, you can all you can easily go three gorilla mon three x v mon but i went with gorilla mon over x v mon mostly because like x v mon is a good card but it's really only gr good when you co combo with with v mon or when you swing with v mon then you digivolve to this thing you just leave this on you know kind of like leave this on the board unless you're digivolving up into pale or down a v mon or something but uh the unsuspended, the unsuspended, the unsuspended four lower is pretty good. It can be game ending. So again, you can change it. Like you know, you can go with a, a three three split here. I'm playing the three copies of Lobomon because I just want to make sure that I can see this card. It's kind of a game ender when you go on top of your Davis. I was playing more Tamers, but. Um, I felt like for efficiency purposes that, you know, just, you know, the three low mon and the three Davis would be, you know, just enough for efficiency purposes because you're really not looking to go into low mon until it's the end of the game anyways and you're going to swing out with Davis as like your last attack up. I got low mon for game, so uh, that's, that's really what it is. But again, it's, it's an interchangeable lineup based on what you like, but, you know neither here nor there and then for Colomon it's a one cost Evo and it's a blocker but it's also one cost Evo as well so um, a lot of times you just use it as a stepping stone but it's also decent uh, just to leave a blocker out there just to buy you some time in case you're bricking or you're you know need to get to some other um, you need to get to some other plays um, for Pyogermon, for Dino Beamon, this lineup is self-explanatory. You need to play these two. This is the card you want to Digivolve on top of. This is a card that you don't really want to Digivolve on top of. Um, unless, you know, obviously you see the Nidhogg. <laughs> but, 
Um, you can kind of like sometimes you can set this card up where you can force them like you could swing with like a rookie force a block and then Donald Beamon can come and swing over that oh clear that off the board and then pierce them so that's pretty good um, then Pyogermon you know for his reason but this is the card you really want to just kind of like sit in your raising area and then when it's time to bring it out you bring this card out swing in then Digivolve in the Imperial and swing in again uh, same thing with Dino Beamon but with, you know with the threat of Nidhogg and I want to actually increase Nidhogg to two in this deck I just got to figure out maybe cut a hammer spot for him maybe not too sure but or rookie whatever it is um, but you know, with Nidhogg in the deck now, if you can, if you draw into the card, Dino Beamon's a card where you can sit it in the raising area. Your opponent swings out from you, then you can bring this out, swing at the security with jamming, hit something, and then um, go into Nidhogg to clear their board. It's pretty good. <clears throat> um, Imperial Jumon Dragon Mode, uh, again, Nidhogg just adds another element to this deck, which is why Dan Vang probably played it, because it just adds, a, a, I guess, another strategy and whatnot to the deck, and it's another card searchable by Davis. Uh, Imperial Jumon Dragon Mode, jamming, restands, you already know what this card does, he's just too good, you gotta run four. Uh, the one Nidhogg, again, for the reason I explained it, um, the Digiburst 4, so it's when you bring Dino B out the, the raising area, you can swing with Dino B into their security, hit something, then go into Nidhogg to clear their board. Oh. It's just a good, it's, it's a good card overall, and if you hit Nidhogg in security, it's a 13k security hit, so a lot of things, most things are dying anyway, so, uh, but I thought this was just a, uh, a nice addition, again, following Dan Vang's example, you know, it's just a really nice addition to the deck. Uh, Blitz Omni allows for a four attack play, uh, where you can go Pyeldramon swing, get two swings out of Imperial Jermon Dragon Mode, and then a fourth swing out of the Blitz Omnimon. It's just pretty clean itself. Um, you know, and then he has the other ability of where, you know, you can, um, if an effect would destroy him. Ooh, that is not cool. If an effect would destroy him, um... You can you can detach a you know level six to prevent the destruction or sending him back or just removing him from the board in general so uh yeah pretty good overall uh and then for options tamers uh four hammer spark two cosidus breath and then three davis uh hammer spark self-explanatory lets you extend your combo plays it lets you extend how many attacks you're going to be able to get off and things like that and this is kind of what you really want to do uh Kasai's breath just again for a little bit more added control kind of like with what we're doing with the nidhogg we're playing two Kasai's breath last form it's just a big removal card just to get rid of a just to remove just to temporarily remove a threat off the board uh like a defeat or something like that and to where, you know, it's like, okay, I got this off the board. My opponent has to build back up into it, but it, you know, buys you a little more time. Plus, if you hit in security, it just clears something out the way, and it's good. And then Davis, because Davis searches out pretty much every card that's not named Omnimon um, or, a, or an option card in your deck. It just searches out pretty much everything here, um, and it's a memory tamer. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. That's the Imperial deck. Again, not too much has changed. Uh, threw in a Nidhogg, you know... Um, throw in a Nidhogg, see what it does, throw in the Blitz Omnis, throw in a Siakumon, but really, really, like I said, the, 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 the Imperial German deck kind of just builds itself, um, it, it's a, it's a 1.5 French kind of ten, ten deck for a reason, it can beat any deck in the game, this, and it can also lose any deck in the game, you know, uh, but it's a great deck overall still, and it's going to be a good deck, you know, you know, going into future formats as well. Uh, but this has been the Car Fight King. Hope you guys enjoyed the, this uh, pretty quick deck profile. Just to, again, just a little bit of a update to Imperial. Did here on DigimonCard.dev, and um, yeah, I will see you guys later. Peace out. Also, let me know what you guys think.